pushing praise to live for spirit And he ain't asked for much, just 10% Who you know handle your problems that you're faced with Every time an attack comes, use him for defense And if you don't feel strong, he'll be your strength We say my God ain't mobbing, I bleed the fit It's ten toes down, no folding, stand stiff It may be a little pain, but those wounds will heal A little faith can move something bigger than hills And if you wonder why I feel good, this is why I feel Like my flesh died and now I'm living in the spirit I'm riding for his holy name, fully focused, don't switch aim I used to be crippled but now I'm dripping, no gang bang Whip from gripping pistols, now the word is in my hand Leaning on my weapon while falling When he'll help you stand Leadership means leadership Don't fall when you trip Open your hand and he'll reach Bob in when he speaks Up up knowledge when he teach I'll be here all day talking highly of my king Let me get him in the name of Jesus So that's how you gonna do it you gonna do it God's children. Second up is my guy, Drew, a.k.a. Mr. Big Faith. We yelling, holy, holy, Satan, you're no opponent. Our prayers killed your plans. No, there is no condolence. That blood is broken. Christ is my main focus. Live wrong for so long. Till my soul is warm. Open arms, don't be fornicating. All night drinking. Puking on my clothes, sin really had me stinking. Then I started thinking, this has to be wrong. Started praying, God got the Holy Spirit involved. I'm short in stature, but my faith is so tall. What's going for Goliath problem slaying? What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Want to welcome y'all to The Real Spill. I'm Jesse V. And I'm Ivy. And this is The Real Spill. And today we got Reverend Parker and the Clevelands again. We got, man, this is going to be a good show. Today we're going to be talking about, yeah, I said the Clevelands. <laughs> <laughs> the Clevelands. But yes, uh, today we're going to be talking about, I forgot the topic, y'all. What I say was y'all talk about? <laughs> Christians with, a Christians with a past. Christians with a past. I believe all of us can can join in and talk about that. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves again, and then we're going to get into this podcast. But yes, I did say Cleveland's. And we are the Bad Seas, and this is Brother Park. I'm Nay Bassy. Correct it, that's Cleveland. I'm Lance Cleveland. I'm Reverend Terry Parker. And again, I am IV, y'all. Amen, amen. We're gonna get into this podcast. So what do y'all think about when y'all when I say a Christian with a past? What it, what what come to y'all mind when when I say a Christian with a past? I say somebody that's trying to follow God that had a past of doing wrong, but now they're following God, trying to stay on and do the right thing. You know. Anybody else? You ready? She said, she said, she said it all. She said it all right there. <laughs> Nothing else? Well, I'm going to say uh, every Christian has a past. That's what I'm going to say. It don't matter if you a deacon, preacher, uh, usher, a uh, pastor's wife, uh, say that again, a preacher's kid, a seat filler. We all got pass. All of us. The seat filler all the way up to the pulpit, we got a pass. You dig what I'm saying? And and I'm going to say that some of us uh, uh, allow some people to bring our past back up and it messes with us. What, what do y'all think about when people bring y'all past back? Because I know I got a long history. I got a you look up my history on uh on uh <laughs> you can write a book about my history, but no. What do y'all think about when people bring y'all history up and and, and try to throw it in y'all face and be, and knowing that y'all already changed and things of that nature? I don't care about nobody bringing up my past, <laughs> cause I tell you I did it if I did it. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well. There's some type of hate. That's what it is. They see you doing good. They not doing what they supposed to be doing. That's straight hate to me. Straight up. That's real. Man, I, I, I be feeling. 
I feel like if somebody do that to you, that means they want what you got. Yeah. The yeah. position that you're in, they are looking to be in that position. What you got to say, Red? What I got to say about that, man, is that, on, man, your past failures don't can't make room for you in the kingdom of God. You know, some people look at your past. Oh, he can't do this. He can't do that. He can't do that. Look, look at people in the Bible that made some mistakes and made in their past. But look what God's still using them, on, you know. And we got to realize that <laughs> these so-called Christians, they done what we used to do when we was younger. I, I can continue to say this and say this, man. Look, yeah, I done it. I jump out some windows. Uh, um, I, I've been some places I shouldn't uh, be. Uh, um, um, I drunk something that's not not soda water. But sometimes, sometimes you got to let your past be your past. You can't stop. You can't let your past stop you for what God has for you in the future. You know, some people we let we let our past stop us for being what God want us to be. You know, we we look and say, oh, we made this mistake. We done this. Oh, we can't be used by God. But and that's what some people would do to us. They will say, "You done this, you done that." So I can't, I can't allow you to get in my pulpit, Reverend Parker, because you the, you the man that like wearing blue when I'm wearing gray. I ain't gonna allow you to come up here. Now you know when I wear gray, you gotta wear gray too. Mm -hmm. That's basically what they saying. I want you to be like me. I want my. If your flaws ain't like my flaws, mm -hmm. you ain't, you ain't safe. You know what I'm saying? And that, that pushes a lot of people away from the church. Go ahead and speak. But their flaws can be worse than your flaws. There it is. There it is. And she talking about from the pulpit straight to the door. Come on now. <laughs> from the door to the pulpit. <laughs> they, 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 do, they do what we do. Yeah. I ain't going to I'm going to leave that alone today. But um, they do. <laughs> they go out there and like. Like what every other man like. Yeah, come huh? on now. They gonna see Sister Tom. Sister Tom, you little sexy today. <laughs> <laughs> I got fifty dollars for you, sister. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah. But now that's real. But then when you come into the church, your sins is bigger than theirs. Yeah, right. That's basically what they saying. Yo, you can't do that. You ain't me. Only I can do that. Yeah. You can have two, three women in the church. I, I can. You can't do it. I can. You can't do it. I, I can't, can't do it. You I can't, can't do it. I can't. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ask the pastor. <laughs> right. <laughs> you just a co labor. <laughs> nah, that's how they do the whole yeah. right. And then when, it, 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 again, we're talking about uh, Christians with a past, you know. Like they were saying, people will judge you off for the things you've done in your history. And they don't, some of us, we don't know how to look at Jesse differently because we're so used to Jesse messing up. Mm. We so used to Jesse being juice man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We so used to Isha being uh, E. Yeah. You the E baby. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's for real. We we get so used to a person doing wrong or 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 they doing. Don't know, they don't know how to accept when you do right. Exactly. Or they be expecting you to fail. Uh -huh. Expect they want you to fall. They say, Red Parker, you doing so good. I'm waiting on you to fall. Look how good you doing. Or Lance, you doing so doggone good. I can't wait till you fall. You know, and I'll I be watching people and, and I see that. And I, that's why some people be like, Jesse, why you don't celebrate? Because I try to not, I try not to get people where they can be jealous of me or they can look at me and say, oh man, look at him. I can't wait till his excitement is over. And, that, and that's crazy, all because they used to me doing so bad. They don't want you to do right. And this is, we talking about Christian folks. We ain't talking about the people we ain't hanging with. Ain't that who we talking about? The Christian folks. The Christian folks. The people that supposed to embrace you. The people that's supposed to help you. And, and look, I was, uh, these people came over, I think it was this week and last week. They was, I thought they were Jehovah Witness. They weren't Jehovah Witness. They are uh, uh, Latter-day Saints. Mm -hmm. And you know what they told me? They said, you know what we do with our people that join our, our practice and things of that nature? We take care of them. We, indulge, we have them indulge in what we got going on. We put them where they need to be. We take care of whatever they need. Mm. 
get them in school so they can learn about our religion and everything. But when it comes to Christianity, we can't do that. Oh, we don't want, I don't want Reverend Parker to have my hairline to be better than mine. Oh, no. I can't have your suit looking better than mine because you ain't me. I, I got to look the best. That's how it is in this, in this Christianity real. What y'all think? I'm going to set up. Man, basically, it's real, man. Um, if you hey, if you ain't got a BMW, Mercedes Benz, Lexus, you can't fit in the crowd. If you ain't you ain't that you ain't you ain't that guy who can preach and hoop and rear back hollering, uh, jump, turn, flips, and and all that, you not you not popular. But we got to realize that God call you, call us all for our season of our life. I don't know if God has his hand on Lance to preach up and be a deacon. We don't know. Right. But guess what? We went to school together. Come on, dog. And, 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 and no matter what that we went through, I knew that he knew I was a preacher when I was a young man in school. Come on. <laughs> and and, and, and they, they knew that. And, 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 and I can say this today. You have to learn from your mistakes that everybody don't dot every eye across every T. Oh, uh, look <laughs> People got to realize that, hey, I'm going to do, I was hanging with Lance Dunn. I was doing what they was doing. Hey, 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 hey. They said, they said I was a preacher. I was, I was a preacher. preacher. I was a preacher. But, but guess what? They won't let the preacher get in trouble. But, but, I got it. I got it. Go ahead. I fight hey, that thing. remind me of Jacob. <laughs> Jacob used to try to hang with my little brother. Love you, Richard. So. But, yeah, he used to hang with me. But, no, you can't do that. You the preacher. Let us do it. Let us try it first. <laughs> Let us see how it works. Yeah, let's see, let us see how it works. But, no, I see what you're saying. He said, I was still saved. Well, I, was I was hanging still, out. I was just hanging out. We was at Don't the club. Don't judge me because you've seen me with my fellas. Yeah. I could be the one that's trying to change these fellas. The whole situation. But when they see you in the club, if they see me and you in the club, what they going to say? What they doing in there? I was in there with them. Look at them two hey, hey, I'm on the wall. I'm on the wall. I'm watching their back. I'm the driver. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm the driver. But now you know what they were saying? Look at real. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in there? What is he doing he in came there? came here to get them girls. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to take one or two home. <laughs> but guess what? I ain't going to keep them now. <laughs> you can go back home. <laughs> He supposed to be a preacher. Look, he hanging around them thugs. <laughs> right, right. Them that thugs. Is, right. Man, time to don't be thugs. They just stay back and cool that, fellas. And that's really chilling like, with them. What's wrong with that? Man. And that's how it be, though. <clears throat> you know, because I still, all of, I ain't going to lie, y'all. All of my friends back in Missouri, they ain't preachers. Mm -hmm. and, and they far from the church. But they all, like he was saying, if I call one of them, I'd be like, hey, bro, this situation, da, 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 da. bro, what I need to do, what I need to do, you need to sit back. You got to ride for us. You got to be the one that look good for us. Yeah. I can't let you. But 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 people don't see that you can be the light for the people that is trying to change. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But they judge you off of that. They yeah. judge you. Go ahead, lady. I see you, Ann. Come but on, Ann. <laughs> Julia Ann in the building. <laughs> <laughs> you, but it's been hard for us because we always had a coat on our back because we was preacher's, preacher's kids. kids. Always. Oh, she finna have a baby. She ain't even married. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> your point. Hey, that is but true. But we always had a coat on our back because our daddy was always, my whole life, he's been a preacher. Yeah. <laughs> and my papa been a deacon. <laughs> That's it. In the church. Right. As soon as they somebody see me, it was a preacher. I ain't gonna say what preacher it was. <laughs> it so we weird. was in jail together, and he gonna ask me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do the same thing. You know what he gonna say? What you doing in here? Yo, daddy's a preacher. I say you a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about my daddy. You a preacher, right? You a preacher. <laughs> and and I, he he just started laughing because we was joking. But I was I was serious though, like you judging me off of what you seen and you in my situation. That's what we were just talking about. Right. We in the same situation. And and then everybody was like, he a preacher. I said he wasn't telling nobody he was a preacher because it made him look bad. That's he was hurt behind it because he was locked up with. I had it was three preachers I was locked up with. I ain't gonna say no name. But they was locked up with me. and did, But these was the same kind of people that would judge the people that come in the church. 
Man, look at him, pants all sagging and do 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 had braids in his head and did, the same ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Locked up with me in prison, not in no county. We was on the yard. <laughs> Straight up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they was looking at me, yo dad's a preacher and so and so and da da da. Yeah, and you a but, preacher. But that's the thing, the coat on your back. That's your daddy. Your daddy is the preacher, not you. Right. <laughs> but not even just that. He was supposed to have been teaching me the same thing my daddy teaching me. But right, you were here he with preacher. me. <laughs> you were here with me. You were with, that mean that we was doing the same thing. We the both same messed wrong. up. <laughs> it don't matter if he stole. It don't matter if he raped a little girl. It don't matter if he beat his wife. It don't matter if he robbed somebody, killed somebody. We still messed up. Right. We still here in the same the Same thing. <laughs> Got to go in front of the same <laughs> judge. <laughs> but that's what life. I'm just, hey, if we getting back, they're going to make me preach, Doc. You better grab this mic. They're going to make me preach. But Get this mic, Isha. <laughs> But not is that not true, God? That's true, man. Man, they they look at your 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 past failures like they're better than you. Like they're seeing this better than your uh not the same as sin. Sin is sin, right? Yes, sir. And we got to stop beating up on especially our generation. Come on, God. Because hey, like I said, I'm I'm to the point in my season of my life and ministry. If you can't accept me wearing my earrings, you can't accept me being pretty, pretty preacher Parker. Cool, Terry Parker. pretty. Hey, hey, pretty TP. Hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I don't care, you know. Because guess yeah. what? You're not God. You can't judge me, you know. If the word, if you here to get the word of God, don't look at the person. Look at the, the person that God called to preach His word. Mm, look at the word that's coming out of that. Come on, look at them, you know. Mm. That's real. If you're preaching Jesus, you don't have time. If you if you serious about if the people come to church and be serious about about God and stop worrying about what's going on in the pulpit, mm. what's going on around the deacon boy, what's going on in the usher boy, what's going on now? If you come here and your worship is for real, mm. and you trying to get something out from God, come on, God. you don't have to worry about what that person done. My, what they going through. What they going through, because guess what? My problems or what I'm going through at home is not the church business. Mm. Oh, poo poo bam bam shenane. When you break up with somebody, <laughs> <laughs> don't come to the church and try to tell the preacher, oh, that preacher did this, he did that. What you done? Girl, what you done? You wanna stand there for the years y'all was together? Mm. Then when things get rocket, you wanna run to the church and what the preacher gonna do? Wow. Rap. What you done done? Preach, what you done to your wife? <laughs> huh? What you have done? He said, what you done to your wife? But see, we take this thing out of context. Some, some, I'm not going to say all pastors, some preachers are into this thing because they want to, they, they know your business because they counsel you and all this, call, they want to know your business. I ain't going to tell no pastor my business. If, if I God. can't, I go to God. I'm not going to tell you, hey, I done this, I done this, I done it. No, no, Pastor, Pastor, because guess what? <laughs> I put on my clothes just like you. Mm. I get up every morning just like you. Yes, I work just like you. I don't care if you work at McDonald's. If you got a job and you supporting your family, I got a job just like you. Come on, God. But guess what? We got to Ellie. stop That's worrying true, about man. what the preacher, young man, the other preacher, the other person is doing. But the Bible says you got to clean up your own front door yeah. <laughs> before you're trying to sweep around miles. And then it said also, as long as the word is going forth, it said faith come by what? Hearing. Hearing. Not by seeing you, not by feeling. Yep. It said by hearing. So as long as that word is going forth. But I wanted to touch on this, man. Mm-hmm. What is something in y'all past, if y'all would like to discuss it, that people keep nitpicking with? Man, they keep nitpicking with me. I used to be a street guy, man. I I really wasn't into wearing suits until now. Mm-hmm. I always was like, my bro right here, hey, hooded up, T-shirt. He should know I'm not lying. You know, and everybody watching, you know, even when I was in the pulpit, I wouldn't put on no suit, none of that. That wasn't me. 
And that's what people used to bring up about me. Oh, so you still feel like you're in the streets. And you, in order to get in my pulpit, you got to have on a suit and tie. You got to have on this. You got to have on that. But that's what makes me feel comfortable. That's how, that's, how I, that's how I look at it. I feel comfortable the way I dress. Man. Like, if I, if I can't step your church house comfortably, that means you must don't want me in there. I came, wow. I came there to get the word. I ain't come coming there for you to judge me what I wear. Come on, dog. Like, just let me be me. I'm here to get the word. I'm not here for you to judge me what I've got on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's just something that everywhere I went, or now because uh, for the last couple of years I'll be wearing this kufi. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to say, oh, you, you Muslim? Or oh, 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 you uh, Hebrew? You yeah, this and yeah, that? Right. That, they just walk up to me. I said, I'm like, my brother. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but I, I, I'll be like, dang, man, do these people understand the, the, uh, the meaning behind all everything that I do? It's a reason. You know, I wasn't trying to be like the other pastors that was grooming me by wearing suits. I really wanted to attract the young people. Uh, young people ain't going to come to you when I got on this suit. And I'm trying to look all sharp. And they got on their jeans and they T-shirts. And they looking at me like, bro, you don't even look like you go through what I go through. I'm going to be honest. They going to say, nigga, you ain't been through nothing. <laughs> Who <laughs> are you? Honest. <laughs> right. Like, you come in my neighborhood dressed up, suited up. In a, in a suit, and I'm out here in this seat, so I want to come to them how they are, yeah. and that's how I always used to be, and people used to be like, nah, you can't do this, you can't do that, you got to present yourself better than this, that ain't how I wanted to present myself, that's how it always been. And mine's, man, I'm going to just have to be real with y'all, mine's is my relationships, mm. these Negroes eat me up, <laughs> these Negroes eat me up, man, and I tell them, people, man, I'm the type of guy, man, I'm going to love you, I'm going to cherish you, I'm going to take care of you. Man, just don't, don't try to play your, your, your game. Don't try to play pity party, try to, oh, run here, say this, 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 this. I'll say, okay, if I'm, do, I'm, if I'm so bad, if I'm so bad, why, why are you stuck in it that long? Do you want to run to the church, you run to do this? They, they know the thing that hurt me the most is when you run to the church. Then here go these, here go, here go these paths, here go the deacons. You got to sit down. And, I'm, I, and I finally realized in my life that, that God is trying to tell me something. God was like, hey, do you in this season. Be single. <laughs> live the life. You know, live the life. Enjoy life. Because when you're in a relationship with somebody and, and they don't love God, they don't know God, the first thing they're going to try to do is destroy your character, destroy your witness, and destroy what you have, what God has for you. And, and, and I tell them, I'm going to continue being me. And the Bible also say that if it's something like this, I'm not quoting it right, if the relationship don't work out for you, maybe it's best for you to be single. Please. You know what I'm saying? That's just because God don't want you to continue to be hurt. God wants you to succeed and be prosperous. And that's the only way you can do that is by feeling like you're growing, feeling exciting, feeling <laughs> like you're wanted. You yeah, dig what I'm saying? I always say God. Bless, uh, bless a mess. You dig what I'm saying? He don't bless no mess. Now he turned mess into a message. Yeah. That's a difference. Mm -hmm. You gotta go through some things. Oh, don't make me catch. Yeah, don't make me One catch. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all anybody else want to share this? What people keep bringing up about their past? Well, sure. I still get I still get judged from this day four about my past. I can walk down the street like, dang, last where you been? I mean, I've been working. You working? I ain't never know you to work. I always know you to be out here doing such, such, it's such, such, right, messing right. up. Like, straight God dang, I can't change. I can't, I can't get a job like you. Man. I can't get a job like the next man. I can't do good like the next man. Straight God dang. Right. Like, what, what is it like? Is it I was I was that I was that yeah, bad off? Up, I was that bad off that I couldn't I can't change and go get a job or something. What is it like? What what is it? Tell me. Tell me the way I why I can't get a job. Tell me, let me know, then I'm gonna tell you that you can't get a job either then. Because you used to do the same <laughs> thing I doing. But now I'm working now. You can get a job just like I can. And that's let me let come on now. Get on get on get on the same page with me now. That's real. And man, that mm, like you said. How are you supposed to grow if you stay the same? Hmm. You got to change. You said it. I ain't supposed to change. I'm Everybody, if you're growing, you have to change. 
Nothing's supposed to stay the same if you're grow in a growing process. True. Everything evolves and transforms. Everything, no matter if it's living. Look at look at the dirt. It even turns over. Look at the grass. Look at everything. It changes, transforms, develops. You right, right, man. People would think I didn't think of that. I heard a song. I was listening to a song earlier, and it was saying that it said, "How you supposed to grow if you stay the same?" He is right. <coughs> can't grow. Can't grow. Can't grow. And also, you got to. You can't continue to hold on to your past. Come on, bro. And as Christians, we hold on to our past, like. When you and they always say that the church is a hospital for sick people. You go there with your past, you go there with your hurts, you go there with your burdens. And we got these so called Christians that go there to the church, want to say, Oh, he done this, he done this, he done this, he done this, he did this, he did that. But why is y'all so judgmental? Is y'all supposed to be loving on that person, care about trying to lift them up? And do and, and I say, do you see the uh, Jehovah Witness them talk about each other? You see the um, Jews talk about each other. You see the Normans. I'm gonna just be honest. The Muslims don't even do that. They stick no, together. Stick together. But it's two peas in a pod. Right. <laughs> For real. It's the Christians. They say that. I confess my sins that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins, that we should have a better life. But guess what? You say that, but guess what? The next day, you over there talking on the phone, soon as church over. Girl, do you hear that? You hear it, boy? And, and, and it's that, basically, it's the cliques. Mm. Man, it's because they're not Christians. They're hypocrites. <laughs> them is just the seat fillers. See, yeah, you said it. That ain't Christians, because if it was, they wouldn't judge you. Mm. And that's the thing. That's the thing, like, with Christians, period. Like, the older ones, they, they need to understand, like, the younger ones is going through the stuff because y'all not actually teaching them. Y'all talking about them, putting them down instead of lifting them up and showing them the right way. Right. That's what makes them come out the church. Yeah. Pushing them away from the church is when you nitpick at yes. somebody's sin and not trying to help them get the counseling to come out of that sin. Uh, you know, because that's what a blessing is. Blessing is just counseling to get through life. You're getting good mental uh, education so you can be stable here on earth. So once you receive uh, the the the, uh, the portal of life, the portal of life is leaving earth through death, going to where God is, you're going to be all right. That's what counseling is. I mean, blessings is counseling. You got to have the counsel of God. And, 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 man, all of us here together, you know, uh, this is a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what God is doing, but I know he's doing something big. You dig what I'm saying? Because we all got, got different type of perceptions or, or reality of Christianity. You know what I'm saying? All of us going through some things, you know. Uh, Isha, May, Lance, uh Reverend Parker, me, myself, we all, we all are going through some things with being a Christian, and we accept Christianity in our own type of way. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be like, oh, all you got to do is pray. All you got to do is this. All you got to do is that. But everybody don't understand that. Everybody can't get it in their mind to just rely on God. And, and I want to touch on that, too, because, you know, uh, when people do get to nitpicking with the, your past and stuff, and you are a newborn birth Christian, it makes you feel like you can't grow. It makes you feel like things are, 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 are not going to be better. So I am going to leave this. This is not where it's at, you know. Um, and, and I feel like we all are here to uplift one another. The Bible said the, the word is to uplift, draw, and come near. That's what the word is for, to bring people, to uplift people. But like you were saying, it's the elders the elders, if, if if we as young ones see it in the elders, then we'll do what the elders are doing. That's just like the son, the, the Sonny. Everything I do, he runs around here and do. 
I be watching him like you were saying when he was watching you. He, yeah. he took that jug, put it over there, cause you put it over there, and then you went over he there. Cereal, he went got a bowl, had his little cereal in there, he sat down, he went over there, and did everything I was doing. He was doing. Yes, because he's watching observation. I remember uh, one Sunday I was uh, given a definition of no. The definition to know is to observe, inquire of information or visual. That's how you know. And that's what we will, the, the world would have been doing if us as Christians can set an example. We won't even help. We can't even come together to get a homeless person that's a Christian a meal. But we'll Amen. advertise it all over the TV. We about to have a food drive. We about to do this just so we can be seen. But if we, behind the scenes, would you come together by yourself if it's not to be seen? To with give nobody that, else. With nobody else, just for, by yourself, for yourself. Right, and, and, and that that's the, uh, a Christian need of Christ, one of our Christian brothers or sister needs shoes. We're gonna talk. Hey, you know, uh, sister Isha needs shoes. That's a doggone shame. She got no doggone job or nothing. And got them four kids, and no one she need a job. Parker, well, we gonna help her. We gonna help her out. But they done talked about her so bad before they even tried to do what God wanted them to do from the beginning. And that's how people are, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I better shut up before they get to talking about Thanks. these. Let them talk. Let them talk about you. You must be doing something good if they're talking about you. That that's means it. if they're talking about you, doing something, you're doing something good. You're doing something good. Yes, sir. That's it, man. And, and, and I'm going to just put this out there. Being saved don't mean things are going to go as you want them. It means they're going to go as God pre- uh, sent them and revealed to you. It ain't going to go as you want them. Yes, you can live a successful life if you go according to how the Bible is written and is laid out, but it ain't going to go your way. It's that a man seen wise in his own eyes, right? And I tell a lot of people, man, on, this walk in this Christian journey is not peaches and cream. When Come I on. took this oath as preaching, when I got called to preach at the age of 15, I never, man, I thought it was the best thing ever, boy. I was feeling good. I'm supposed to preach, man. Then years later, when I thought it was all peaches and cream, and when trials start coming, trials and tests start coming my way. And if you're not equipped with God or some on, your God. prayer life or you don't have some people that's strong in your life with you, you will crumble. I can tell you, it's some young preachers that will say today that I would not get back in the pulpit and preach God's word because I've been crucified. I have a friend right now, I'm not going to say no name, and he says that he would not get back in the pulpit right now. He ain't been back in the pulpit yet, but I told him that no matter what your circumstance, no matter what you have done, who called you to preach? Come on, dog. If God's before you, who can be against you? Come on, dog. These people say they're going to they gonna be there for you, man. I'm going to be there like the four flats on the Cadillac. But when the roads start getting rough and the going get tough. And you know what line my wife hate? Hmm? She be like, baby, do you trust me? I said, the words say trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean on. Trust in the Lord, not my wife. Yeah. In the Lord, <laughs> not Reverend Parker. Yeah. In the Lord, not Lance. In the Lord, not me. But listen to what I'm about to say. People put their trust in humanity. This flesh, even though this is a beautiful woman and she's made out of a woman, that's still humanity. This flesh here, even though you're a handsome young man, and it is, it's, it's still going to be humanity. The Bible says trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Not Isha. Mm. Mo- not Jesse, not Parker, not Nay, not Lance. Not so if you are leaning to the Lord and you putting your trust in the Lord, yes, I got all trust in you, baby. But it say trust in the Lord, but we look, put all our trust in you, man. Baby, you ain't gonna, I ain't gonna never break your heart. I promise, baby. Then twenty minutes later, she done broke your heart and threw it on the stage. But, but the Bible say trust in the Lord. He over there crying. Come on. <laughs> like, right, what's she doing? For real. Bye.
And that's what happens when, mm -hmm. I'm going to just be honest, when we go to these churches and we rely on these pastors, the missionaries of the church, the deacons of the church, the ushers, everybody that got a position in the church, we start trusting in them. And then, boy, I remember, I ain't going to say no names. We, I was a kid. Look, I never thought this old lady cursed. Look, they passed the offering tray over there, boy. <laughs> She said, now, there ain't no doggone way. I ain't got no money. Better not send that tray over here with they lay. I said, with they what? I was like, oh, I said, ooh. <laughs> yeah, but it's because I thought just because this person was of God, me trusted in humanity, but I didn't know I was a child, but still. It made, I was like, dang, this old lady can flip the birds and all that. <laughs> Better not send that off a tail here. Better not look at so and so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at her hair. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. But that's what happened when you're trusting in, in humanity. It'll, let, it'll fail you every time. Every time. And that, that's just the honest God truth. It don't matter who it is. It can be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your, your spouse, anybody. They, humanity is made to fail you, but we will we will try to love something that is not lovable. Only thing that is lovable is spirit. God said, I am the way. I am love. God said, I am love. If God is love and the person that you are with don't have God, how can they love you? How? If God is love and the person you with say, I love you, Parker. I love you, baby. I love you, Isha. I really do. But I'm doing the things that are not of the Holy Spirit. I don't have love, the characteristics of love. But that's what we do. We expect the characteristics of love to be in humanity. And it's not in humanity. It's in spirit. Whatever spirit that person is carrying, that's what it's going to represent. That's what it's going to have the characteristics of. So when we're getting beat up, at these churches. Sometimes them characteristics don't be of love. They be of sin. These people be beating us up of sin. You know what I'm Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to tell every young man. Come on, Doc. <laughs> if you're in a relationship come on. so long, and if you ain't going to marry that woman, I hate to say it, man, don't find a cake with her. Come on. Cause that spirit will be on you, Doc. On. I'm telling you, man. And in the, when the spirit is on you, Doc, man, it's just got you going cuckoo for cocoa puff. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Man, I'm 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 I'm, I'm being real with but you. you real. This, that's real. And and I had to learn that, Doc, because the four years I was with someone, and man, I'm preaching, man, I'm I'm, I'm doing good, man. I, I'm Parker, man. I, Dude, I'm, I'm going anywhere I want to go. Um, man, that girl say, uh, uh, "Come on, come on over here. Let's talk. Let's have fun. We can be cordial." Next thing you know, I move in with the girl. Move in with a fell in love, man. Then when when the road got rough, and I decided to move, and just like, man, we done. I'm done. I can't take no more of it. And she couldn't take no more. It was at that boiling point in life. It was toxic. I, I wish I was here Friday. <laughs> Last Friday. It's toxic. And God says this. I need you to get out of here. And I, I kept on hearing the voice of God. Man, I, I mean, what is, this, what, is, what is this talking to me? I'm sleeping, sweating, I'm wet. Like, what's wrong with me? Went to the doctor. Asked the doctor, doctor, what's going on? Nothing. Then I went to Dr. Dean Benford, old school pastor. I had been a pastor 50, 60 years. And I asked him, I said, what is it? He said, preacher, you need to pray. He said, you just need to, everything was gone, you need to pray. And I'm like, okay, I'm praying. Then when I started praying, God started saying that you pit this lady first before you pit me. You pit her before you pit ministry. He said you was worshiping this lady and stopped going to church. 
and, and, and I was looking at my ministry and my life, and I said, man, man, I was with great preachers. I can preach. I can teach. I can, I can do it all. Man, I stopped reading the Bible. I, I stopped praying. Anytime I'm telling you the truth, y'all, I was picking up the Bible when it's time to preach. But guess what? God will remove some things out your life, beloved. I'm here to tell you. God removes some things out your life so you can get closer to him. The, the Bible says that we, we serve a, a God that's a jealous God. He's jealous. And when the call to preach is a call to preparation. And when you have that preparation in your life, even though you love your wife, even though you love your husband, you got to do God's will. Come on, man. If God tell you to go here to Africa and teach and preach and leave your wife and your family for 60 days, would you do it? If God tell you, I want you to go start this church, I told somebody that God wanted them to go ch- start a church in another <laughs> country, and not another country, another city, state. But if, will he listen to the word of God? Would he listen to the voice? God is an anti-voice. People think God is just coming there to you and say, oh, I want you to do this. No, God is an anti-voice. And we got to start listening to God. In this season of your life, you got to start listening to God. Stop worrying about your church people. Stop worrying about your church failure. Stop worrying about the mistakes that you made in your life. Turn it over to God. If you start praying, seek his face, turn from your wicked ways and hear from heaven and God will heal the land. That person that's talking about you, they just want to be just like you. Come on, dog. And I'm telling you today, stop worrying. Stop, 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 stop stressing. I'm not going to lose no sleep. I'm not going to lose no weight. I like, I like steaks. I like everything like anybody else. But guess what? When it's time to let some things go in your life, you got to let it go and let God. And I'm telling you, we just got to stop. Stop. Stop all the, see, and see this is what people want in their life. If they can't be like you, if they can't get what you got, they want you to start throw them a pity party. They're going to go to this person, they're going to go to this person, you're going to go to the person make everybody hate you. But guess what? You can't judge the book by its cover. Get to know that person. Spend some time with that person. I can tell you that um, Lance is the biggest dope dealer in Galveston County. You going to believe me? Or you going to come and see and see about what Lance doing. Come see Lance. Lance is a working man. I can say Jesse is a uh, the, oh, womanizer. A womanizer. The boy be at home with uh, his wife and uh, the Brady Bunches. <laughs> Amen. I can say, girl, that's all nice she think she is. She like them Jordan and everything else. But guess what? She work every day. Big and pretty and work. But guess what? We can't judge a book by its cover. Clean up your own front door before you try to sweep around somebody else. That's all I got to say. Come on, God. I'm going to leave y'all alone with that today. Huh, he on it. Man, hey, this has been a good little segment. I appreciate everybody that came, man. This is dope. Anybody else got something to say? You got something to say, bro? Law? Look like you got something on your chest, bro? Law? Man, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I sit in my woke up one morning, went outside, sat in my garage, my usual morning routine, you know. Smoke a little herb in my day, you know. Sit out, roll my squad, sit out there, cut my TV on, sit out there, like, I say, you know what, God? I need your blessing with a job. Mm. And I say, you know what? Still smoking this herb, but I'm going to put it down for you. Need me a job. Not even an hour later, my homeboy rolled up on me. Hey, you ready to go to work? I was like, man, cool bullshit. Quit playing with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time. I'm looking, for, I'm looking for a job now. He said, man, I ain't playing with you, man. I'll be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. I said, all right, but I, be up, I get up at 5 every morning. 
He said, well, man, I don't go to work. We'll go to work till 8. I said, well, I'll still be up at 5 and I'm going to be sitting out here chilling, waiting on you. You say, bet. 8 o'clock, 7, 7.45 on the dot, rolling around. He pulled up. I said, oh, he wasn't up playing. <laughs> Sliding my shoes real quick. Yes, I'm sitting yeah. outside of my house shoes. I'm like, man, he ain't coming. He ain't coming. Pulled up. Said, man, you ready? He said, man, I don't, I don't got no tools. He said, man, don't worry about it. I got you. I said, what you mean? I said, man, here you go. Here go a brand new tool set right here. I said, man, how much you owe you? He said, don't worry about it right now. Just going to make the money first, then pay me back later. Man. I said, all right. Got paid this same day. I said, man, how much I owe you for this? Here you go. So, man, you have to get it to me right now. You could have waited to get it to me later on down the line. I really said, truth, you didn't have to give me nothing back for this. I got this for you. Man. I said, thank you. I tell him every day. Every day we go to work, I said, man, you know you're a blessing to me. He said, nah, man, you're a blessing to me. I said, nah, I said, I said, you wouldn't have did, I said, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. <laughs> you came so, got me. You came to ask me, do I need to, to go to work? I didn't call you. You came to me. I said, God sent you to me. He said, nah, man, God sent you to me. I said, we well, sent this. He said, it must have been for both of us to link up now. Iron, sharp, and iron. Yes, That's what it was. Iron was sharp and iron. He needed you and you needed him. He said, that counseling, man, that, that's deep too, man. He said, God, I'm willing to sacrifice the herb, and I want you to really help me, God. Hey, he said, I'll put it down. He said, hey, look, I'm done. God, now it's time for you to move. That's basically what we got to do in our lives. We got to make a step and then say, God, you said you promised you would never leave nor forsake me. That's basically what you were saying. He said, I done done, I'm done with this. This ain't the lifestyle I want. He said, I want better. Now, God, do what you said you're going to do. I'm sacrificing. I'm giving up this stuff that's hindering me. And I'm ready to go forward. And then what God do? Showed up and showed out. Showed up and showed out. And I, ain't been, I ain't stopped there since then. I've been trucking and looking man. all the way. And that's it, man. Man, God is... is, is Everybody got a different way of explaining how good God has been to them. You know what I'm saying? And God has been good in all kind of ways to all of us. All of us. We all done came from hell and back. It don't matter True. if you was saved when you was going through the hell or not. You dig what I'm See, saying? But the good thing is that we all came out of it. Though. Yes, that's the best thing. We ain't letting nothing hold us back. Or nothing. We ain't letting no spirit in no. Uh, what I'm gonna say. We ain't letting no spirit that touches any humanity body keep us from going forward. Amen. You can't do that, man. You gotta keep it pushing. Reverend Parker. That's what I tell you, man. I uh, tell them. I start saying it every time I preach. For every valley he seen me through. Yeah. For every mountain he brought me over. Yeah. The Lord has been good. You know, you have to realize that God is able to keep you from falling, you know, no matter what you have done. And I, and I, and I beg people, man, I, I, I plead with people. Man, I got people right now that say, Reb, how, 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 you, how you get through what you're going through? You're so, you, you so, you, you a tough young man. How you get through it? I said, man, I, I have praying friends. I keep myself in the word. And, and a pastor said this Sunday, he said, man, no matter what this young preacher go through, he don't stop going to church and worshiping God. He don't go. Even though he going through his situation in his life, you always going to see him in church. Man, I'm going to tell you, man, I start going, man, Sunday mornings I go to two churches, man. I, I go in fellowship at, at, at a church in God in Christ. Then I go over there to uh, a Baptist church. And, 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 and I worship, and I'm going to tell you this, when, when you know God's anointing is on your life, a pastor, when you sitting down, now I ain't going to the pulpit, and the pastor feels some type of way and say, man, I just want you to get up and say a couple of things. You get up and, and, and your anointing start coming on your life, and you just be like David, man, I will bless the Lord at all times. And I tell someone, man, I told the story that I was going to take a sabbatical. And, but God told me that in, in, in your in due season, to reap what you have sown, 
this is your season for grace and favor. He said, what you're going through is going to work for your good. It's working it out. I'm working it out. He said, you got to get up. And I was like, man, nah, I'm not going to do this Sunday morning. I ain't going to preach. I ain't going to do this. I feel bad. Like, I ain't going to go to church. I'm, I'm just going to sit here and uh, put the cover on my head and just go to sleep. Sleep. But when you heard the voice of God, and God said, get up. Go to church. I got, I got a work for you to do. Went to church. Pastor say, got through, he got through preaching and everything. He said, first Sunday, young man, I want you to preach. I said, first Sunday, this is, this is a Baptist church. This, this is the pastor's first Sunday. He said, God told me to tell you, man, that he wants you to preach. He said, the people need to hear from you. I said, wow. I said, first Sunday? Yeah. He said, then I want you to help me do a little something. He said, God has something for you. He said, no matter what that you are going through, he said, God has something for you. And sometimes we go through our lives as young men and young women that believe that and believe in Jesus Christ, that the Lord Savior died on the cross for our sins. He died for our sins. Your sin is no, no worse than my sin. But don't let your sin, because guess what? Everything you done done, you enjoyed it, right? I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed the sin that I've done. I'm not, I can't take it back. But guess what? You can learn from your sin. You can learn from your mistakes. And we got to learn how to let that young preacher be. I'm not a 56 year old preacher. I'm, I'm not going to get up there and be solid like other pastors. I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dance. I'm going to shout. I'm going to scream. I'm, I'm going to do me. But guess what? It's a new generation. And this generation likes that. Because guess what? Your kids know every kind of song that's go out. We know every song that go out, right? True. Come on. But guess what? Y'all don't want to hear a young preacher that has some swag. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. They don't want to hear it. Okay? But guess what? Well, the pastor coming out all old holy holy with a big old ball in his hand and all that. I'm going to come to the, I come to pull with my iPad or my phone and I'm preaching right there. I'm preaching right there because guess what? I'm trying to reach that generation, the person who's been out there and, and the, the, uh, the young person that don't know Jesus, the one who's been in the club that smell like alcohol and smoke. I'm trying to reach that person. And that's why I say in my season of my life, I'm a different type of preacher. Okay, I'm not going to... I wore a suit today. I, yeah, I still wear suits. God bless them. I'm the skinny, I'm the skinny jean. A uh, uh, pretty boy wearing. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm gonna get my hair cut, good hair, part in the side, earrings wearing, preacher, and I'm gonna reach him. If you can't accept me in that poor pit, he the new age. We the, that's they can eat beans and weenies. <laughs> that's that's it, man. You know, I'm like him, man, and that's hey. I like. I'm a youngster too. And I'm a preacher for those who don't know. And like you said, I, I don't, I'm not in it to impress nobody. I'm in it to save souls. Well, I'm in it to reach the souls that are lost. So that's that's what I'm in it for. I don't, I don't really care about dressing up or nothing like that or anything, but. But I be me, and I bring the message how I know how to bring it. I don't care how nobody else bring it. I bring it how I do it. And I deliver revelations how God want me to deliver them. And that's just how it is. Uh, yeah, I talk to a person if out on the street. I go to a dope house and minister at a dope house. I go to a crack house, a crackhead. I always do that. I, that's me. I'll do that. I'm the one that'll step out of the character and won't judge the person that looks bad to bring them up. That's just me. I will do it. That's me. 
Like you were saying, I'm different. I ain't trying to impress. I want to bring more. But we're going to close it out, man. Y'all got anything else y'all want to say? Yeah, I, would, I mean, I want y'all to say. Y'all want to say. <laughs> what you want to say? Uh, how good God is. Yeah. Very now, good. Very good. Amen. I had a good time, man. I, and I appreciate y'all, man, for real. Nay, uh, the Cleveland. I'm saying the Cleveland. The Cleveland. <laughs> Brent Parker, my wife, myself, man. We thank y'all for tuning in to uh, what's streaming with the Real Spill podcast where we only speak on what's real. We have no filter on here. Everybody has different backgrounds of Christianity. And that's what the that's what the, the y'all say. If we ain't like y'all. We ain't Christians. We believe in God. Yeah. Next time we're gonna talk about uh uh religion of titles as far as Pentecost, Baptist, Catholic, Methodist. We're going to talk about that. You know about that, uh, Reverend Park? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about that next, next time. I really don't tell what we're going to talk about next, but that's what we're going to talk about next time, how people separate themselves from being being separated under God. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all want to say anything before we get out of here? Well, I'm Jesse V. That might be. Have a blessed day. And this is The Real Spill. Hey, I want to give y'all uh, y'all uh, social media information. People follow y'all on social media. Don't do the social media website. Too much drama out there. I heard that. I heard that. What about you, Red? I'm good. All right. Yeah, hey, I know y'all can follow me and my wife on all our social medias and everything. D-L-I-D, Jesse V, and Aisha V. There it is. Y'all follow us. Stream us. Go check out all our music, the music we put out, and everything. Love y'all. God bless.